Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 3. We are on a roll and I'm feeling it. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna share with you guys my Sephora VIB sale haul. This is long overdue. I literally just got my order this week, even though the sale ended like on November 15th. But I debated sharing this. I, I like wanna move away from doing so many hauls because it's just like not realistic. I'm not hauling all the time. I just literally accumulate shit but i thought today's was very timely because i literally got this in the mail let me let me grab it for you guys i literally got this mailer this week there's another sephora beauty event starting today december 3rd and it goes through december 12th so with the code gift easy i'll put it here gift easy you can get 20 percent off all beauty products or 30 percent off the sephora collection definitely take advantage if you guys missed out on the VIB sale. I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I got. So this is going to be like a haul, but also like a first impressions like vibe and just try on the products with me. We're going to play with the stuff that I got. Hope you guys, you know, take advantage of the sale. So let's get into it. So I literally have a bunch of a bunch of stuff in this box. The first thing I want to talk about is this value set. This is like the perfect time uh, of the year to take advantage because Sephora puts out all of these little gift sets and things to try new products. So this is the Tasha Purify Treat and Hydrate Trio. It comes in a box like this. I already took it out because I started using it. But it brings the full-size dewy skin cream, which looks like this. I have tried just like the regular and aqua container, but I've heard amazing things about this one, so I was excited to try. And I think this alone retails for the same value of this entire box. Amazing deal. So I'm excited to try that. It also comes with a little trial size of the Dewy Serum. This I haven't tried, and I honestly haven't even like heard about it. It's a milky consistency. It smells nice. All their products smells, smell really nice. Very, very dewy. Very nice. Leaves a nice subtle glow on the skin. I will probably use this at night. I tend to layer my serums and oils and stuff uh, before bed on my skin, so I'll definitely be using this before bed tonight. And then it also comes with this Tasha Rice Wash. It's a soft cream cleanser. I did just use this. That's literally all I've done on my skin, which it might look a little ashy, but it's because I literally just washed my face. Just patted it dry. I washed it with this. Highly, like I've only used it once, obviously, but I love the consistency of it and how it lathers. It has like a really nice rich lather. So I'm very intrigued to keep trying this. And it says it's a pH neutral cream cleanser of rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizing. So it did feel moisturizing. However, my skin is very dry this time of year. So I don't like I'm not surprised to see my skin like not dewy. Uh, so definitely will continue using this. And then this set, this gift set also comes with like this little silk wrap. <clears throat> it's not real silk, but pretty. It's cute. Like you could like wrap your, if you don't have a big head like mine, you can wrap your hair in this for bed or like when you're washing your face. Um, I think this is like a traditional, I don't think, I know this is a traditional Japanese cloth. Like you like wrap gifts and things of value in it. So it's really, it's a really nice little add on. And then I also wanted to say that these products are considered clean beauty, which I've kind of started moving towards more clean products, so I'm excited about that. Then I'm going to try this in a moment, but first I want to show you guys, re-upped on my Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Universal Daily Peels. I had been using the extra strength ones for a while, but I think my skin is doing pretty okay, and I didn't feel like I needed that much, feel like I needed that strength. So I just got the universal ones and I'm gonna use this right now. So they come individually packaged. This is a pack of 30 and then it brings five bonus pads. I use these every morning and I prefer using them in the morning after I wash my face. So just like I just used that rice water cleanser, I'll grab the first pad, which is step one. And I should have put my hair up before I did this. I was we're just vibing y'all so this is the exfoliate and smooth step and it's the peeling quotidian i love these pads you guys i feel like they've transformed my skin they are pricey for sure but i do actually use them daily never forget your neck i know i like to do upward motions on my neck i let i give that a moment to dry and while that dries i'm gonna put my hair up just using this little silk scrunchie that's better. 
So I think that's pretty dry. And then I go in with the anti-aging neutralizer too. And definitely stay away from your eyes with these harsh um, products. You don't, that skin around your eyes is so sensitive. So I don't even go there. And then again on the neck and that's that. I will say this is very weird. I'm doing all of this in my camera viewfinder. So bear with me. The next set that I would normally do is my moisturizer. After this dries down a little bit, need a moisturizer. Uh, I'm gonna try this dewy skin. I'm gonna go ahead and try this dewy skin cream. It comes with this little applicator at the top so that you're not, you're not like dipping your fingers in the cream, which I appreciate. Okay, so there's a bunch of cream on the lid, so I'm just gonna use that so it doesn't go to waste. And then I take a little bit more on my little applicator. Okay, oh, she is thick. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this. So, I mean, I guess I should have expected it because it's this is more hydrating and thicker than just like their regular hydrating cream. I'm blanking on the name of it. This is nice. Oh my God, I definitely put too much on, but that's okay because the more do the better. I feel a little bit of tingling and I can't tell if that's from the peels, but I don't think so because I never feel that. This just feels like my skin is like plumping up. Wow, I'm really into it. I definitely overdid it, but that's okay. I like to put stuff on the back of my hands like this. Ooh, wee. That is so nice. Okay, I highly, like I, I am, I love this. I think this is gonna be my new winter moisturizer. All right, so while this dries down a little bit, I'm just gonna show you guys a few more things that I got that I won't be trying uh, right now at least. So this is uh, something that I've tried before. It's the Tata Harper Clarifying Cleanser. This is really nice. I think this was a, a reward that I chose, uh, but I just like having little travel size things like this in my makeup travel bag. So I'll probably be taking this on vacation with me later this month. Uh, but I love this cleanser. It is like a deep cleanser without really stripping your skin. It kind of leaves like a nice dewy finish. Uh, but it, you feel like it's working. Like it's really cleaning your pores. And another reward I chose was this Fresh uh, Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. And this, again, is one of those things that I'll just throw in my little travel bag. I have the, this is the Petal Soft Lip Cream from Fresh. It's the rose scent. It's like such a beautiful, natural rose fragrance that I love. And I have used so much of this, as you can see. I was excited to try the face cream. It's a little baby. Oh my goodness. A little baby i'm gonna just throw this again in my travel bag and take it with me on vacation okay so then just in that same vein of like having products to travel with if you guys watch my claw fest tour i love collecting little perfume samples i travel with these and this perfume i actually really like juliet has a gun i'm like not a fan of the name at all but this this smells amazing amazing i have quite a few of these guys anytime that i see them in the reward section or like the samples i make sure to pick up one so the last sample thing i got was this YSL Slim Velvet Radical and it's like this collection of the YSL Reds which I think is so good. Uh, I might even take this on my trip with me as well. I love a red lip. You guys know that and I love all of these different shades of red and it even comes with a little lip brush. I think that's pretty cool. It's like a nice little sampler. Now that my skin has kind of absorbed most of this dewy cream, I'm going to show you guys, actually, one second. One of the things that I picked up and I love, I've already tried it. I'm not going to try it in this video just because I'm going to use something else. Um, but I, I, this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40. This is like my everyday. I don't really wear foundation every day. Not really. I literally don't wear foundation every day. But what I love about this, people are like raving about this product. Focus for me. It's like skincare with a little bit of a tint. So this has niacinamide, it has squalane, and it has hyaluronic acid. This is one of those things that just like gets better as the day goes on because it like settles into your skin in a good way. And it just kind of like absorbs the oils and it just looks good. It looks like your skin will better. So I got the color Shayla and this is going to be like my winter shade. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but that's okay because uh, I tend to go pale in the winter. And then I did pick up another shade. This is in the color Diaz and I think this is more of like me with a tan. See, like it's not, they're not really that far off. It just has a deeper tone. So there's a ton of colors, which I love. 
so there's something for everyone but i'll definitely like i can like mix these two if i'm like in between or if i'm darker or if i'm lighter i just like having that option so far i absolutely love this product definitely worth the hype and now I'm just going to contradict myself because that's what I do. I just said I don't wear foundation. But someone I follow on Instagram, her name is Erin Off Duty. She always looks absolutely flawless her skin looks amazing it's like porcelain and she mentioned that this is the foundation that she uses i've heard things about this foundation through the years and i've just never tried it again because i don't really wear foundation but i figure for you know outside is opening back up and like i'm going on a trip for those moments that i do want to look like completely like even and like polished i can go i can give this a try so this is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. And I got two shades just to see which one I am. And I think this is my correct shade, so I'm not even going to open this one. I had gotten shade 3.5, which just actually, no, this might be my shade. But yeah, this one's definitely too light. So I'm definitely shade 3.5. Like with foundation, I feel like I can always warm it up if I needed to with like bronzer. But yeah, and this was like pretty pricey. So I'm definitely not keeping both. This says that it's the perfect glow flawless foundation. And then everything else is in French. So I don't know. Okay, so we're going to try this. I want to try it right now with you guys. I love that it has a pump. We love a pump. It's very hygienic. Let me grab a foundation brush and we're going to try this together. Okay, I brought you guys in a little closer so that you guys can really see like... Is this for me? Is it not? So again, I'm using shade 6.25. I think it looks pretty close. And I'm going to take a couple pumps on the back of my hand. Actually, I'm going to take one pump. She did a lot. And I'm just taking a flat top foundation brush. And this is what I would use like with my tinted moisturizer even. Ooh, she is a match, you guys. What do you think? I would say she is a good match. I love how light it goes on and it's literally just like blending right into my skin. Um, I've used up the whole entire pump at this point, but we're going to go back in for more. I'm going to do one more pump. See, like that's a lot, I feel like for one pump. Next time I would try it with my fingers just because I'm feeling like this brush is absorbing a lot of the foundation and I don't, I don't like that. Do you guys see how it's like going on? like so nice and silky i love that it's dewy even though like i have my dewy moisturizer underneath it i just feel like it's still not going on matte which i appreciate that's kind of why i moved away from foundation because i hated the matte look i felt like it made me look like cake or like just like it aged me all right so i'm done applying the foundation brought it down to my neck you guys she looks good she looks good. It's not like it's not sitting on the skin. It's not enhancing the pores. I'm feeling it. Okay, so then I'm going to show you guys the next product that I got. So I've been a fan of the NARS. Let me show you guys. I can show you better than I can tell you. Okay, so I have been a fan of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in this applicator. You can kind of tell. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's pretty empty. I've, I've gone in. Uh, I've been a fan of this. This is a great match for me. I use it for my under eyes. I have pretty dark under eyes that are hereditary, as you can see. But I was kind of blown away when I saw that it now comes in a pot form. So this is the same exact thing. It's actually, it's a different, um, it looks like it's a different formula. It's a soft matte complete concealer. Yeah, so there's nothing radiant about this one, I guess. And I got, I always get the color custard. So both of these are the same color. I love the pot form. It is so creamy, not drying. This one can tend to be a little bit drying under the eyes, like it'll start creasing after a while. So I love the formula of this one. I've already used it. Ooh. Who talked to my printer? I've already used this one some, and I just go in with the brush. I like to use... Okay, that's so rude. I like to use this fluffy brush with it. I just feel like it helps. You can also use your finger, to be honest. I just like to use the brush to like blend it, but it is so creamy. Are you done? It is so creamy and just like such a nice formula. I love it so much. I, I mean, honestly, I think applying with your finger is more than fine, but do you see how that goes on? It has amazing coverage. Oh my God, you guys, I am so sorry about this printer. It has a mind of its own. I literally haven't used her in weeks and she's over here talking. Okay, she's, do you guys see this coverage and just like how nice and thick it goes on? 
So then I'll take the brush and I'll just blend it out. And I think using your fingers kind of helps it melt so that it's not just like sitting on the creases of your eyes, but then using the brush kind of feathers it out into the rest of your makeup and helps it blend in so it's not like this like sharp lightness. You know what I mean? I'm just going to blend this out and I'll be back in a minute. All right, you guys. So that is blended out. Next, I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Looks like this. I already hit pan as you can see. This is not new, but I definitely recommend this is one of those times that I would definitely take advantage of the sale because this is kind of pricey. It's quite pricey actually. So I have the color medium and I like to use this to like set those areas that tend to get a little bit too oily. So I would use this like on this little chin spot right here, tip of my nose, and then under my eyes to set that concealer because again, I don't want those like fine lines to crease um, once like the concealer settles in there. So I will do that really quick and then all of a sudden I'm done. I don't like to do anything else. Like, I don't mind when my forehead gets a little bit shiny. I think it makes me look a little bit more youthful. Okay. I should really do something about my lips, but that's okay. We're friends here. This is the last product that I got from the sale and it's the Say Sun Melt Bronzer and I got the color Medium Bronze. This is something that like kept selling out, has amazing reviews. I can open it and it looks it comes in a package like this it's like a little screw top jar situation and that's what it looks like you can see I swatched it with my finger I've heard amazing things about it have not tried it yet so let's try it together I am going to use it with this merit brush because on the Sephora website this like you could buy a brush to apply this and I was like I have so many brushes I don't need it but the brush looked very similar to this so I'm just going to dip a little bit in there. This brush is so soft from Merit, by the way. And I'm just going to apply it as I would, like, you know, to add a little bit of definition to the face. Okay. Okay. First of all, this brush blends like a dream. But about the, um, you see my hair is getting curly because I'm sweating. <laughs> about the bronzer, it blends like a dream. Like, do you guys see that? And it's so creamy. I'm really into cream-based products this time of year, again, because my skin is so dry. So I need all of the dew that I can get. And then I would just do a little bit on my forehead, conceal the chin a little bit. Thanks, Dad, for this big old chin. Okay. You guys, I am into this. Yes, honey. So I typically just go in these motions like this and then like this down the jaw with bronzer. She's nice. I am into her. Yup. All right, I'm just gonna finish my face, put some uh, mascara on, and I'll be back in one moment. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. I just had to put my eyebrows on and some mascara, and then I just added a little bit of uh, nude lipstick. This is a color by Maybelline that I literally wear almost every day. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Definitely take advantage of the sale. This is a good time to like try new products or stock up on some favorites. Definitely recommend all the products that I mentioned in this video. I'll be sure to link them down below. Uh, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and I will see you guys for Vlogmas Day 4 tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.